Vortex Tricking. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 most insane flips and tricks ever done in history. Number 5, Quad Full. Basically in a quad full, you take off with two feet, you can either punch or pop, and then you do a backflip with four spins. People usually like to do this out of a round off or out of a TD rise punch. Commonly in the tricking world, people are doing this out of a cartwheel and doing it with ease. This trick used to be so insanely hard back in like the early 2010s. Nowadays, people like Shosei are just ending it within their combos easily. Like literally, they, they, it's like the end of their combo and you expect them to be extremely tired and they do a cart quad full at the end and land upright like it's nothing. It just shows you how far the tricking community has come and how some really difficult tricks back then are not nearly as difficult and impressive as now. To do this, you have to have an insanely reliable punch setup, like a cartwheel or a round off or TDR punch. If you have a good setup, you're gonna get the height and rotation needed to land it with ease. Nowadays, quad full, even though it's just such an insane trick in tricking overall, is just being comboed with ease. I, I still don't know how this is possible. Shosei did trip full, swing cork, punch quad full. Out of a cork, he just punched quad full. And at hook 2018, he would just casually end his combos with TDR punch quad full. Johan did cart quad full swing cork. How? His his cartwheel setup somehow got him enough high air rotation, not only just to land it fully rotated, but have enough time to bring out his legs so he could swing the cork. Although these tricks are insane, the tricking community is definitely evolving, and as you get up this list, you'll see tricks that are more up to date and even more impressive in this day and age. Number four, dub times four. Dub, 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 or four double fulls or double corks in a row, commonly double corks, is a double cork, swing through double cork, swing through double cork, swing through double cork. Basically, you go off of one leg, spin twice while doing a backflip. You have to have enough power and height to land on your J-step leg to swing through again for another double cork, and you have to do this two more times after that. And not a lot of trickers have the ability to do this. Notable trickers that can are Michael Guthrie, Johan Crisilla, Shosei Iwamoto. Tommy Case did this back in the day. He ended up doing dub times five, which was just insane the first time I saw it. The amount of height and force and twist you have to have to just keep going for four double corks is just, it's mind boggling. To get to this level of tricking, it's gonna take a long time. You really have to train your double cork a lot. I've been doing tricking for such a long time, but even I still can't get to the level where I can swing out of a double cork. Usually a dub 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 setup is out of a cartwheel. Some people do it out of a TD rise. That's usually the best, that's usually the best way. This trick, when it was first done, was just insane for a lot of people. But as 2018 and 19 rolled around, people like Shosei and Johan could do this easily. Johan was comboing dub 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 in like at the end of every single combo he did um, when he would start with like a quad full and end with a dub 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 dub. I don't I don't get that how you can just keep going like have to have all that power and not be extremely dizzy. It, it, it's insane. Number three triple B twist. So the first triple B twist was done in 2013 by John Vanek. And at this time in tricking, it was really hard to move beyond the double B twist because that took a lot of power and technique just to get there. So the tricking community was astonished when John Vanek was able to pull off the first triple B twist. Basically in a B twist, you have a running start, you make a 180 turn, you dip your body down, lift your back leg up, throw your arms and spin horizontally. Now, in the years following John Vanek's triple B-twist, Michael Guthrie was able to triple B-twist with ease. And then triple B-twist was done by a 13-year-old at the time, Shosei, which I've already mentioned in this video. And when he did that trick, that's when I first found out about him because it was just insane at that age to already have enough power and technique to do a triple B twist. That's when I discovered him and started looking at all of his content and just being just mine at all of his tricks. Also, a tricker named Alexander Anderson in Norway would also rock the triple B twist. The way he does it, in my opinion, is just so cool. He did, you, cause you can see all parts of the B twist. You can see him dip down, lift his leg up, but just twist so tightly and straight that you know it's a triple, but it just happens so fast, like a tornado. Also, Shosei has been doing 
double B twist snafu, which is a triple B twist, but in between the second and third twists, he sticks his leg out, and recently he swung through a triple B twist. What? But yeah, triple B twist is just crazy now. Number two, cork and back out. In a cork and back out, you swing one leg up, do a backflip while twisting, that's a cork if you didn't know, and then after that you have to have enough air time to do a backflip after that and land. So it's a double flip, swinging off of one leg, doing a cork, finishing with a backflip at the end. The first person to ever do this was Tim Farley in 2014. He did it out of some weird, like, he did it out of some, like, weird e-kick master scoot setup, which was just insanely powerful for him. At that time, he would call it the Snatch Cannon. And then, one year later, Velu did it out of a gainer switch, and then, Bailey Payne would then do it out of a rat full. After that, Alexander Anderson would do it out of a TD rise. Shose did it out of a scoop full. After that, James East did it out of a spin step TDR. And he clutched it. Basically, to do this trick, you have to have enough power and strength off of one leg to get you a twist and a flip and another flip after that, and you're gonna need an insanely powerful setup. Usually TDR could be common for this, but as tricking progresses, there has been just more and more cork-in setups. Bailey Payne literally comboed out of a rat full cork-in. Again, proving my point how tricking has evolved to just kinda hard but impressive, to just insanely hard tricks that would never have been thought to be possible a couple years ago. Number one, quad cork. There are a decent amount of people that did not think this trick could be possible because triple cork was already hard enough and a long road for most triggers to get to. So to think that you could spin four times off of one leg and land is just insane for most people to think about. Basically in a quad cork, you have to have an insanely powerful setup. What you do, you land on one leg, you swing one leg up, you do backflip, but you have to spin four times off of one leg. Think about it. You have to rely on the force of just one leg to get to get you that height. Obviously, this is definitely one of the more challenging moves in tricking, because not many trickers have been able to pull this off. A lot of people did not know how long it would take in tricking for this to actually be done. But in October of 2016, Michael Guthrie did the very first quad cork. The tricking community was going insane. Something that so many people were not able to get through their heads when they first saw this trick. He stepped into a very powerful TDR setup and was just able to bang it out. And for a long time, he was the only one who was able to do it. But in 2018, a tricker named Alexander Anderson did the first clean quad cork. Not only was he the second quad corker ever, but he did the first fully rotated quad cork. Now Alexander Anderson, his quad cork was fully rotated. It was a perfect quad cork and I definitely was just astonished that a trick that complicated could be landed so clean. But the next year, Shose did gainer switch quad cork and it was fully rotated and he proved that he can do a clean quad cork. And then immediately after that he started comboing quad cork and literally everything. Again, he showed that he's just the king in all aspects of power moves and tricking. He's the only tricker that has the ability to just end a combo in a gainer switch quad cork. And the fact that he can combo it is just mind blowing for so many people. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to subscribe. If you want to know when I post my next video, turn on post notifications. If you really like this video, be sure to give it a like. And please tell me in the comments what video you want me to make next. Whether it's a tutorial or like a flipping review or whatever, I don't really care. Just tell me in the comments what you want. And I'll be sure to get some feedback and probably do some videos that you suggest. Thank you so much for watching. Michael from Vortex Tricking, out.